Okay, refer to your textbook on page 67. So our topic today is about 2.7, Impulse and Impulsive Force. Look at the photograph 2.8. Shows the action of long jump athlete bending his legs while landing. What is the effect of this action? The action of bending his legs is to reduce the magnitude of impulsive force acting on his body. Okay, look at this one, the diagram. So, bending his leg upon landing. So, what is definition for impulse? Impulse is defined as the change of momentum. If you still remember the Newton's second law of motion, F equals to mv minus mu divided by t then if you rearrange the formula f times t then you get equals to mv minus mu the value determined by this formula ft or change in momentum is known as impulse we use the symbol j eh? capital j Okay, last time we have discussed also, F is equals to applied force, T is time of action of the force. What is impulsive force? Impulsive force is the rate of change of momentum in the collision or impact in a short period of time. The formula for impulsive force is as follows. Okay, same thing it coming from the Newton second law, the same formula for force. So impulsive force equals to F equals MV minus MU divided by T. T is known as impact time. If a change of momentum MV minus MU is constant, then we get relationship between F and time of impact T. F is inversely proportional to time of impact. Meaning, if T is small, then the magnitude of F is big or vice versa. Okay, now we look at activity 2.14. For activity 2.14, I want all of you to go and search eh, from the internet or any other source about Two, number two, uh, gather the following information from appropriate website. Effect of follow-through action on magnitude of impulse. B, situation and application in daily life that involve impulse. C, situation and application in daily life that involve impulsive force, including safety features in the vehicles. I've sent you all a video uh, on this uh, topic. So, I want all of you to write... Uh, on a piece of paper and send your work in the Google Classroom eh, in your class. Okay, no need to prepare a presentation because we don't have a uh, opportunity eh, to use that uh, to do it. Okay, so for now you just write on a piece of paper, then you can send me uh, your your work eh, through Google Classroom. Okay. <clears throat> in fact, all the situation that you studied in activity 2.4 involve a pair of forces, action and reaction. The relationship between action and reaction is explained in Newton third law of motion. What is stated by this Newton third law of motion? So, Newton third law of motion states that for every action, there is a reaction of equal magnitude but in opposite direction. So, you must study the examples of situation and explanation given below. Look at this one. Increasing the magnitude of impulse by follow-through action. What is the meaning of follow-through? A follow-through action after a strong kick produces large impulse. As a result, the ball experiences a large change in momentum and move a high at a high velocity. What is the meaning of follow-through? Okay, look at the first diagram. This person kicked the ball, meaning he applied action force. The ball will exert force on his 
leg at the same time. So that one we call it reaction force that act on his foot. Okay, look at the position of his foot after kicking the ball. You can see his foot is swing a bit high. Is he already kicked the ball, but his foot still swinging eh, after kicking the ball. The action we call it follow through action. Same thing when a golf when a golfer hit a golf ball, he swing the golf club higher up, even already hit the golf ball. Meaning that one, the action we call it follow through, eh? follow through action. The follow through action will cause the ball to move further. Okay, reducing impulsive force by extending impact time. Okay, we have discussed that. Impulsive force is inversely proportional to impact time. Meaning, the shorter the impact time, the larger the impulsive force. Okay, look at how. Eh? This is what happened during collision. So, you can see there is impulsive force act on the car. There is impulsive force act on the box. Collision causes a car to stop and experience a change in momentum. The crumple zone of the car extends the impact time during collision. As a result, the magnitude of impulsive force of the car is reduced. Alright, before we discuss further, what is the definition of impact time? Do you understand the meaning of impact time? Impact time means the moment the two objects touch until the object becomes at rest. We call it impact time. So, if the crumple zone, uh, crumple zone of the car will extend the time of impact, meaning the moment touch, the, the, the front part of the car crumples, so it takes longer time to stop. So, time of impact is longer. So, when time of impact is longer, then the impulsive force on the car is smaller. Okay, look at this uh, diagram. Increasing impulsive force by reducing impact time. For example, we have a pestle and mortar. The pestle and mortar normally is made of a hard material like stone. A pestle moving at high velocity is stopped by a hard mortar in a short interval of time. Normally, hard surface will cause the object eh, to stop at a shorter time. A large impulsive force is produced. So, the shorter the impact time, the higher the impulsive force. So, for this activity, we... We really need a higher impulsive force in order to crush the object inside. Okay, so we we use a hard material like stone eh, to make this pestle and mortar in order to produce short impact time and larger impulsive force. Okay, look at one example calculation. If there is formula, of course we need to solve calculation problem. Look at example one. A plasticine ball of mass 0 0.058 kg is thrown at velocity of 10 meters second negative 1 and hits the wall. It sticks to the wall. What is the impulse of the plasticine? Okay, you must memorize what we have discussed before. What is the definition for impulse and impulsive force? Okay, solution for this question. The first step is always list down all the information given. For example, mass, we write down M equals to 0 0.058 kilogram. Initial velocity, 10 meters second negative 1. So you write down U equals 10 meters second negative 1. Hits the wall and sticks to the wall, meaning the ball, the, uh, the, ball, the busting ball finally become at rest. So final velocity equals to 0. So now we have all the information. Now we want to identify the formula that we need to use. So this question, we want to find what is the what is the value of impulse. So the formula we have discussed before, impulse equals to change in momentum or equals to product of impulsive force and time of impact. Thus we have impulse J equals to MV minus MU. Okay, now... The final velocity is 0, so you substitute into the formula, so you get, uh, at the end you get negative 0 0.58. The unit is Newton second, eh? same as the unit for momentum, because impulse is change in momentum. Why the, the answer is negative here? So we can write 1 
command here in the opposite direction to velocity of plasticine. Meaning, if the object is thrown to the right towards the wall, meaning impulse of the plasticine is to the left. So the, the answer is negative. Okay. Second question. A golfer hits a golf ball of mass 45.93 gram at velocity of 50 meter per second. If the impact time is 0 0.005 second, what is impulsive force acting on the golf ball? Okay, now you list down all the information given. M equals to convert to kilogram. Eh? Given in gram, so you convert to kilogram. So you get 0 0.04593 kilogram. <coughs> Initial velocity is at rest. Eh? The ball is at rest. Eh? Before, before the golfer hit the ball, the ball is at rest. So initial velocity is zero. And then again, final velocity, 50 meter second negative one. The time of impact, 0 0.005 second. Okay. Uh, now we use the formula of impulsive force F equals to mv minus mu divided by t so we have sub, uh, the, the value all we have here so we substitute into the formula m 0 0.04593 times final velocity minus 0 0.04593 times initial velocity 0 divided by time of impact 0 0.005 this we get 459.3 newton so you get answer is positive meaning acting in the same direction as the velocity of the golf ball okay now we have discussed about impulse and impulsive force so you can try to answer formative practice 2.7 in your exercise book okay then for your bet for better understanding you can watch all the videos and do module on this topic okay that's all for, for now